hey playmates welcome back to our clubhouse happy december uh, i just guys i can't believe that it's i can't believe that it's already december right now currently with me filming this video it's like december 11th I'm like what wow um but yes you guys it is that time of year for my December TBR. I don't really know exactly what I want to read this month. Um, I'm just kind of free balling it really but I have a few a few that I kind of know I may want to read so we're just gonna get right into it y'all but yes I just can't believe that it's already December 2024 it's almost here and that is wild I still need to do like my uh, book year wrap up like what books were my favorite what books i dnf'd what books i didn't like my top 10 favorite books of the year I, oh my god there's so many videos i have to do um I'm, but i'm really enjoying book miss all in all i really love watching just the bookish videos during christmas i think it's so cozy and i love everyone's just holiday book miss time it's really really fun to me but anyways, back on track, like I said, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be reading. It's kind of just kind of going with the flow. So, but I'm going to just name some titles that I've been thinking of so far. So number one that's on my list is Demon in the Woods by Lee Bardugo. It's a graphic novel and it's like the Darklings from the darkling my husband from the shadow and bone trilogy so as you guys may know and if you don't know the, the darkling is one of my favorite villains he is my husband i absolutely love the darkling i have so many quotes by him i just love him so much he is my absolute husband and yes so um they have you know so i wanted to read his graphic novel so kind of bringing my favorite character to life in a comic form Ugh, guys like i i can't can i i can't even say more like that sounds super exciting um so yes i'm here for it kind of the darklings past so yes like him like a little origin story kind of but yeah it's just kind of like him the darkling before he was the darkling kind of vibe so that's gonna be really exciting the next book i have on my list is my sister the serial killer by oyinkan braith white i'm probably mispronouncing that i am truly truly sorry um but i am really excited about this the cover and the title intrigued me the most because come on now serial killers murder you know your girl is in there so yes and you're just saying that your your own sister is a serial killer say less say less so i'm really excited for this one that's going to be my first book by this author um so i am excited you guys so yes murder i love i think um it's a lagos nigeria setting which is also really exciting um just to get more of that culture in so exactly excited about that the next one is my james patterson um you guys know i love james patterson since i was young um uh, so i would read like his middle school books a reef and yes i just ugh, chef kiss pretty much every james patterson book i read it's instant five stars i just love the tone the writing the suspense here for the twist so the one that i'm going to read is violets are blue by james patterson which is in the alex cross series number seven and i don't really know that much about it i just pretty much i want to read at least one james patterson book a month that's kind of like my thing that i'm trying to do and yes so pretty much i just kind of like grab a book and yeah i only read i only read like one sentence of the synopsis was that it is 
has to do with vampires. So that's all I know. Like humans posing as vampires, that type of thing. So that's going to be really exciting. And also just know that about Alex Cross, major detective. So the next book, number f the fourth book that I have on my TBR to read is Shatter Me by Tarehe Mafi. Y'all, I'm super excited for this. This book literally has been on my mental TBR all year long. I have watched a lot of booktubers talk about it. I've seen it on my book talk for you page. Um, I've seen it on bookstagram. I know a lot of people talk about it and it is widely hyped. Um, I don't know too much about it except that it has to do with superpowers and that's pretty much all I know. Like I said, I don't really, when people start talking about it, I just kind of fast forward or yeah, I just mute, mute it because um, I don't really want to know that much about the book, like I said. So that's pretty much all I know. I don't even know what the characters, the main character name is or anything like that. I just want to dive into it. But my library had every had a lot of the sh books from the Shadow Me series, but the first one. Like, come on now, how are you not gonna have the first one? So that was kind of like the hold up, but I finally have the first one in a bunch of the books of the series on my Kindle from Libby, so I'm excited. The next book that I put on my TBR is Death's Obsession by Avina State Gravis. It's on KU, Kindle Unlimited, so that's super exciting. I know that it's a gothic dark romance and it's only 178 pages, so I feel like I could squeeze it in just to like get a taste. I do love dark romance, so I think that would be really cool just to add another one to the list and it's fairly short so you could probably read it in a s one sitting so i'm really excited about that i think it has to deal with like like i said it's like gothic dark romance maybe like stalker everything that i love the next <laughs> the sixth book that i have on my tbr is neighborly that's supposed to be like a little quick spicy read it's only 116 pages and it's by katrina jackson um so I think that would just kind of be fun as well um yeah but I'm not really yeah it's really just gonna be like a little spicy spice yeah <laughs> that's all I have to say don't judge me the next book I have is Hunting Adeline um book two by H.D. Carlton it's on Kindle Unlimited it is 531 pages so I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of December to comparing all the other books I have to read as well but I did read Haunting Adeline the first book in the beginning of the year like in January or February I think it was February and yeah I was kind of like wanting to get into like the romance dark romance for Valentine's Day and I when I tell you guys that's definitely Haunting Adeline is definitely going on my top 10 for the year like we all know we all know okay it's on booktube book talk bookstagram is everywhere if you don't know haunting adeline literally where have you been like honestly it is amazing zayd meadows zayd meadows that's all i have to say oh i could be his little mouse any day <laughs> i'm just saying so yes uh, yeah yeah so I can't wait to pick up uh, read book two hunting Adeline um, but I know that it's I don't know I feel like I read hunting Adeline kind of slow because I was really taking it in piece by piece <laughs> so I don't know we'll see uh, but it is on Kindle Unlimited if you did not know and the eighth book that I want to read is Broken Bones by Jay Bree I know that it's going to be like a fantasy. What drew me in was the cover. I don't, like I said, I don't really know that much about it. Hashtag um, no synopsis. But I just know that I see it floating around the socials and I love the cover. 
has the skull and I'm obsessed with skulls so another reason why I wanted to read Haunting Adeline because that's also a book with a skull on it like I feel like if it has a skull on the book I'm gonna read it just I'm gonna read it so yes I'm really excited for Broken Bones I think it's a from Missy maybe like I said I don't know too much about it but I'm excited so those are the books that I plan to read this in the December um like I said <laughs> I'm really excited to see what my December wrap-up was gonna look like because I just I don't know I probably probably not even gonna read half of these books on this list I'm, I'm just kind of mood selecting right now and also whatever books that come available um on libby from my putting on the waiting list that plays a big uh part of it as well so i just don't know yet but i just love book must i love um you know reading during the holiday season you know your cocoa i'm in mexico right now so it's not like super cold but it's cooler than it usually is during the year so that's pretty exciting um that either way it goes i put on my little fireplace little youtube videos have my little tea and just really get in the vibe play some christmas music i love it love it love it love it and i just enjoy watching everyone's book miss videos i think they're so fun so cozy i love like the book miss advent calendars i love it so that is all for me you guys thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my reading vlogs i'm really behind on my reading vlogs like posting them um so they'll be slowly you know coming in so turn on that notification bell uh, and yeah i will see you guys later